Hello there, everybody. Blubbo10000 here, bringing you another Mag Mammal 2 video. This is Mag Mammal 2, episode 40. Holy crap a moly. How are we here? Uh, so, before we get to tier 9, I discovered how custom costumes worked. So, I did a little bit of research, and this little paintbrush over here allows you to put on costumes designed outside of the game. And I decided to download a costume that I thought would be kind of comical. We're gonna be Toad Man. Oh, look at us, we're amazing. Look at look at us, we're Toad Man now. Let's see, has the Sakagane changed? <gasps> oh, that's awesome. Yes, that's amazing. Oh my goodness gracious me. And we got the little bird as well. And, oh, that is so cool. Yep, we are now gonna be Toad Man for this episode. And there are a whole bunch of custom costumes uh, that I found on the Mag Mammal 2 Wikia page. Tried to avoid spoilers because there were some skins that apparently were spoilers for upcoming bosses that I chose not to look at. Uh, but there are a few skins, including a few non-related Mega Man skins. There was a, a solid snake skin. But before we go to tier 9, I want to check with Nightman about uh, how many more Noble Nickels we need for the next uh, upgrade, because I didn't check with him. So, uh, yeah, uh, 120 Nickels, we have 105, and is Jetman anywhere in this building? Because usually Robot Masters tend to come here when we beat them, but I haven't seen Jetman at all. Do you say anything different now? Buy craft beer. Nope. And Glue Man, I play Bond Man's uh, stage. He's kind of similar to you, you know? Oh my god, this is amazing. <gasps> Can I find Toad Man? He's probably not even going to say anything. Where was Toad Man? I don't even remember where Toad Man was. Damn it. <sighs> All right, let's go and head over to tier 9. I'm going to take the long way around so we can chat with everyone as well. Hey, Oil Man. Some weird penguin got. Yeah, we talked to you. I always found these lamps of Bright Man to be a bit awkward. Yeah, they are a bit weird. I've heard that the so-called best levels are in a faraway place full of rainbows. Those rainbows better have my name on them. Hey, Picket Man. Hey, Toad Man costume. We're constructing a cool giant pit with the help of Galaxy Man, our sponsor. We're not done yet, so maybe check back later. All right. You may not know this, but the wheel cutter can be held out in front of you by holding shoot, turning it into a constant damage melee weapon. Ooh. I should be studying for a test I have in a few days on my break, but I'd rather just slack off. Hi, Rocco-chan. Oh, please, you don't even look like a main character. All right, bitch, fine. All right, tier nine, 12 energy elements, 29 noble nickels. Up ahead is the main festival grounds. There are all the best simulations there. This is the best ever. Yes, queen. Hey, Centaur Man. Welcome to tier nine. It may not look like it, but this uh, section is very close to Dr. Light's lab. If you continue to the right, you'll wind up right next to it, which is extremely helpful for us. But I think it is time to start our first level in tier nine. 18th place, not encore, or not encore. Misty Lake, 36.8, 33, 37, 34, 39, 41. One energy element, five noble nickels. Hi, Pharaoh man. Let's do this. Ooh. Hi, chill man. Oh, this is cool. I like this. None of the other stages have tried this yet. That's really cool. All right. Okay, so the birds didn't hurt me there. Interesting. Aha! I wonder if my hitbox is the same as Mega Man's, or if it's going to have changed at some point because of the, uh, because of the way that custom costumes work. I'm genuinely curious. No! I want the Noble Nickel! Take me to the Noble Nickel! Thank you! Oh god, hello. That seems like an instant death pit. That one's slightly less so because it's got the little blackness underneath it. But there's a noble nickel here. No nice, okay. No other way forwards. I'm guessing we're going down here then? Yep, let's go. Hi. Okay, so we've had three noble nickels out of five very quickly on. Got it. I love this music, by the way. I don't know what it is, but it just feels like a really feel-good track. Oh, hello. 
That being said, I'm not really sure where the misty part of this lake is coming in. I guess it's maybe the ice, but obviously there's no fog effects or anything. It actually looks kind of okay. That is a frog, and that frog is alive. Okay. Oh, I love that effect of the ice blocks coming up. That's really cool. That is really cool. I like that. It's just such a simple little effect, but oh, it looks so good. Hey, Crystal Joe. We've seen a lot of you in the contest. People seem to like using you. There we go. Wasn't sure if I was going to make it across there or not. Hello. Can you stop attacking me, please? I want to kill the- I want to kill the squid. Gonna wait for that ice block, and boom. There we go, nice. Good job, Toad Man. Oh, I want that E-Tank. I literally have no reason not to get that E-Tank. There we go. Well, actually, I did have a reason not to get the E-Tank. I bought a whole bunch of E-Tanks last time. I forgot about that. Ugh. Interesting how we've sort of transitioned from day to night. Also, there has got to be something back here. There's got to be. Yep, there is something back there. There is something back- Yes! Oh, hello there. Is that a watermelon? Okay? I think it acted like a Yashiki. I think- I think it was just a repurposed Yashiki, but that was interesting. If a little odd. Come on, Toad Man. There we go. Oh, God. Hi. Yeah, we're definitely working with Mega Man's uh, hitbox, because he would have... I, I would have been injured there if, I, if I'd screwed that one up. Once again, though, I am loving this music. I don't know where it comes from, uh because I'm uncultured as all hell, but I do love this music. It just sounds really good. It sounds like just a strong track. There's a noble nickel up there. I need it. I got the noble nickel. I don't care anymore. That's four noble nickels out of five. How many is it? One more noble nickel to go? Or did we get all five? Oh no, I think we got all five. Okay, hi. Thanks for playing my level. It was made possible thanks to the following people. Mini macro stage start music. Cert Omega Team tile set CC by 3.0. Smithy GCN. Fa Faxan Faxanadu Castle rip. Bad Batman Castlevania rip. Dan Octil one level music. Valo my sprite. Zun question mark. And you, the player. All right, let's do it. I'm ready. Oh, hello. I don't know who you are, but you're not Chill Man. I thought I thought we were getting Chill Man. Oh, God. Is this Toho? Is this some sort of Toho? Because I'm getting Toho vibes. Oh, I'm getting Toho vibes from this. Okay, that one's not too bad to avoid if you're far away. It's that one that sort of looks like DNA crystals that kind of gets me going. This one. I'm not sure how to avoid that one, but we almost had her taken down. I think we could take her down Buster only if we tried. The question is, can we take her down Buster only without charge shots? I kind of want to see if I can. Uh, that's how you dodge it. Alright, she's not too bad. Once you kind of get her pattern down, she's really not that bad. Except for this bit. This is gonna hurt. Yeah. And the fact that I'm just not getting any hits on her because she, she goes up into the sky, obviously. I might try doing some charge shots on her. Come on.
No! Got it! New costume available, nice. Okay, great. Killing the boss, I guess? I wonder if it's the boss itself that we get the costume for. Oh, hey. Hi there. Marissa. Oh, hey there. You beat Cerno pretty bad, huh? Hmm? What if you're not missing it? You're missing anything? I'm not responsible. Besides, even if I was, I'd only be borrowing it for an indeterminate amount of time, of course. I feel like this is a reference to a character I don't know. Cerno. What? You, you actually beat me without using any special weapons? <laughs> I thought only Reimu could pull that off. Still, I won't turn down another challenge from you. Anytime you want to go another round, I'll see you at the lake. Oh, so th th I'm guessing this 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 was a reference to these guys somehow, and you were the person I just beat up. Okay, good to know. So what did the judges have to say about Misty Lake? Snow and Pyro, 33 out of 50. See no jokes because it's vid C9, lol. Wait, memes aside, this is a pretty nice level. I like the difficulty curve and design in general, and I like how you introduce the snowbirds, then the chill blocks, and then combine them both in the final stretch. The boss fight with Sinnoh is pretty good too, though the icicle attack can be quite tough to dodge sometimes. Also, the chill man water ice block spawner things can be a bit buggy sometimes and accidentally spawn two chill blocks, but it's not really a huge issue or anything. Honestly, I feel like more could have been done with the chill block gimmick in general, because I don't really think the snow owl gimmick really changes the gameplay that much, though it is pretty cute. But what is here is pretty solidly built, and it's a good level overall. Juby Hornet, 37 out of 50. Nice level you got there. It played really nicely, and overall it felt like a Mega Man stage. Also, I think it was the only stage where I could get all of the Noble Nickels on my first try. I didn't really like the placements of the squid enemies, they just destroyed the ice blocks before I could attack, uh, but the level was pretty cool. See what I did there? <laughs> Until the boss. The boss itself was fine, but you can die after you kill it, which is a big no-no. Angel, 34 out of 50. I love how this level progresses between different areas. Watching the world around you slowly transform really adds to the experience and the flow of the level. While I think the level suffered uh, in its design under the guidelines set by its aesthetic, it still was a lot of fun to play and it had some nice ideas which I liked seeing used and reused later on. My main point of criticism with this stage is its rompy nature and how it feels like it didn't use the elements it introduced to its fullest potential. The difficulty curve in the level is fine, though I found the ending stretch to be less of a challenge than the mini bosses, though maybe I'm just horrible at fighting them. I also thought that the snow which is dropped onto the stage is harmful due to its size, the way it sticks out, so I often took cover when I first played the stage and thought of it as a clever idea, just to later find out I was roleplaying around a non-existent threat. I also managed to get the boss to crash on me and figured out that dying causes ice cubes to duplicate on the next playthrough, which is rather unfortunate. Either way, lots of fun to play. Gariri, 39 out of 50. It's a nice little level. The level design is actually surprisingly good, and I like how the snow actually makes precise jumps easy to do. Other than that, some parts of the stage get a bit boring. A fun stage, nothing else to say though. And a spark, 41 out of 50. Uh, hi, chill man, I guess? Uh, oh, he, he's gone, never mind. I love the idea of this frozen medieval town. It's a nice unique setting for an ice stage rather than your standard cavern that Mega Man usually uses. A very refreshing change of pace. Theming was on point here. The enemies all worked well and suited the environment. You managed to take into account that the chill man blocks don't respawn and do it in a really clever way. Then popping out of the water is exactly the way to ensure that the player does not get stuck when they fail the platforming test outside of the noble nickel attempts. This is fine. These ice blocks are unfortunately fairly glitchy. I had several of them bug out quite badly, such as creating multiple of them at once, or not at all. I'm not sure what the point of the owl enemies were, I think maybe the trail they leave behind should have been ice rather than snow, as it has no real hindrance to the player. Your highlight was the boss, I think. I'm guessing it's from a franchise I haven't played before, rather than on an original character. Post-judging comment, Toho. Knew it! I knew it was Toho! But you've merged Bullet Hell with Mega Man in a frankly brilliant fashion. Once you've learnt the pattern, she is very fun to fight. Really solid, fun stage here, let down by the glitchy implementation of the new assets. I really liked it. I think it could have done a little bit more, and I think it was the the transitions, while I liked the theming, I think the transitions could have been a bit more careful. Uh, some Sometimes it just, if you look at the stage layout and you imagine how it's going, it's a bit weird. Anyway, Pharaoh Man. Does anyone else smell dairy products? I hope there are none being served here. I'm lactose intolerant. All right, probably a reference to some sort of Egyptian thing about milk. I don't know. But that's that concerns me. We already killed milk. Are we going to fight milk again at some point? Is milk the tier 9 boss? 17th, Lobster King. Donut Observation Center. Score, 37.6. 42, 38, 30, 36, 42. And it is one energy element and three noble nickels. Let's do it. 
Ooh, okay. The music is actually really interesting in that it's... Well, it's loud. It's really loud. Oh my god. And that's not even me being... That's that's just the music being loud. That's not me. Oh, it's a donut. And it's a Tama. Wait, if I just get up here, then you can't do anything. The, the yarn balls... That was kind of painful. Oh my goodness, this music is a little bit overbearing, a little bit loud. Volume disparity, please. Okay, so we've got... Okay, we've got these gimmicks. Good to know. I completely forgot what I was saying, because I was kind of distracted by the gimmick. And up we go. Caterpillars, my favorite enemies. Hey, Yanbos! Or Yanmas? No, Yanmas the Pokemon. I think those are Yanbos. I'm so happy to see those. We don't see them enough. They're some of my favorite enemies as well. Where are we going? This way. There we go. And we've made the stage. Oh no, I saw a Noble Nickel. I saw a Noble Nickel. A rather easy Noble Nickel. Grr. But seriously, this music is crazy loud. This is kind of doing my head in. I have a feeling I am going to have to mute this bit somewhat. Bad idea, shouldn't have ran, should have waited. I know what I needed to do there, but I didn't do it. Even so though, it is a really interesting sort of stage so far. I'm liking how it's introduced its gimmicks. It kind of feels really unique in this sense. Like it just, it very solidly knows the gimmick it's going for. I just need to get better at dodging those. Oh, man. I just need to get better at the gimmick myself. All right, so it's gonna come back. It's gonna go off again. There we go. Caterpillar, hi. Well, I guess I need to activate that then. Whee! Oh, God. Oh, I thought that was a... Oh, what's this? Oh, hello. Yeah, there we go. Noble Nickel. Noble Nickel time. Whee! All right, glad I fell down. Oh, this is a slidey bit. I... It's a little bit hard to tell that this was actually a uh, background. That's, uh, that's one little complaint I'd have, is that I couldn't tell that was a background in... Oh. Oh. Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll do this game. Yeah, we'll do this. This is interesting. I like this. That's an that's an interesting gimmick. I, oh, timing, timing, my child. No. 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 Ow! <laughs> I couldn't time it right. God damn it. Oh, at least it only spawns us here, though, so this is actually pretty kind. This is literally right where we were, so... Okay, at least it's it's kind in that sense. It's giving us a chance. There we go. All right, not failing for that one a second time. Boss door? Are we already at the boss? Nope, we are outside. Oh, now we've got the rainbow ones. I was wondering if we were going to see Ringman's rainbow uh, platforms as well, because they're the only platforms in the engine that uh, dissolve to the right. Okay, interesting. Well, there's the last noble nickel. Oh, there we go. Ah! Oh no, oh! Ooh, I like this! This is an interesting setup. Because it gives you time to sort of react and uh, plan accordingly. Oh my god! Oh, that is a really good setup. That is, that is, that is stellar level design right there. I'll just say it right there. That is stellar level design. And then I got chucked into the peanut gallery. Great. Is this the boss or are we going back into the factory again? Hi? Okay, so you're the boss. Oh no! <laughs> Straight away dead. Good grief. Okay, interesting boss. It's a donut. I was promised donuts, but it's a donut observation center. So I guess... Is it donut in the sense that it's like a UFO donut? Is that sort of what we're going for here? Is that the gimmick? Okay, let's wait for you to come back up. 
Oh, we have to shoot the green dots. Okay, I can do that. Come on! Ow. Yeah, I can shoot the green dots just fine. Just watch me. Oh yeah, that took out a whole bunch of its health there. Okay, so yeah, shoot the green dots. That's the that's the boss. A very unique boss for Mega Man. I don't think we've ever seen a boss kind of like that, despite the fact that it is quite a common sort of trope tropey boss. Like this is the sort of boss fight you would see in a lot of games like this. So I'm very interested in seeing how this kind of continues to handle it. Uh oh. Oh no. No! I was one away. God damn it. Okay. That one there, that one on the bottom right, that is a very awkward one to hit. I'm gonna see if I can maybe power charge it. Come on, fire at me. No? No fire? There's the fire. So it shoots a few shots and then it kind of gets bored. Aha! All right, we're doing pretty well so far with the no damage. There we go. Oh no! Ow! Oh no! No! Okay, so we took out the one that I found to be the most difficult, thank goodness. So that actually makes things kind of easier, actually. Like that one was pretty simple. This one is literally a case of just do that. Dang it, I wanted that health. This one's the one that I think I'm going to struggle with because it's the one where you kind of got to just have the timing down. I can't hit it from this side. Damn it! Ah. I know how I need to hit it, I just need to, you know, pull it off. Also, I just noticed uh, each of those green blasters are the blasters. Like, they are what would the... They are what was attacking, so when it lost its blaster it lost an attack, which I think is really cool. Oh, almost there. Oh my goodness. Oh no. Hey, there we go. Oh, but I could actually die if I'm not careful. Okay. There we go. All right, energy element obtained. Nice. Really good level. I really like that one. Okay. Star and Pyro, 42 out of 50. My feel when I didn't even play X6 and I still get PTSD from this level. Man, this level is super neat. I really love the interactions you had between the different gimmicks. Favorite setup is definitely the Galaxy Man Teleporters plus Tile Slide. It's really clever and well thought out. I really like the sections with portals and drill man switches too. I like how you just loop around a lot, and I also really love the final stretch. The super long ring man platform plus galaxy portal plus switch setup is really fast place and clever, and I like it a lot. Probably the only part of the level I'm iffy on is the boss. Think it's a bit too finicky to time yourself just right to avoid getting hit with the galaxy man portals. I got hit a lot by just messing up the timing, plus it was kind of weird that the boss got easier as it went along. I still really like this level, though. Great job! Also, this level looks and sounds great too. Jupy Hornet, 38 out of 50. That was a really weird level. For some reason, it gave me brutal Mario vibes. Anyway, excuse me. Anyway, I liked the use of the switches in the indoor section, but the outside section at the end was a bit crazy with all the Ringman platforms. You have a few galaxy portals laying around to save the player from falling in a pit, which is nice. The boss was kind of annoying though. The two green things on the top were hard to hit unless you used its blade, triple blade, a weakness triple blade from above. Angel, 30 out of 50. This level proposes some interesting uses for teleporters, but unfortunately their presence in the level doesn't really shine next to all the other features it throws in. While the level is mostly consistent, it introduces concepts very rapidly, making it hard to use each of them to its fullest potential. If I felt like, uh, due to the oversaturation of concepts, the level occasionally felt a bit messy, even though it almost never got overwhelming with its enemy placement. There is also one instance in this level where I felt uh, like the teleporters needed an indication as to where they would lead to, the first upward section past spikes. I took a gamble by assuming the teleporters would lead to the other one in the room, which was the case, but wasn't clear at all. The boss of the level to me is its weakest point, mainly due to its small hitboxes and lack of detail on the HP bar, the way in which the targets are offset makes hitting them more precise than it needs to be. Aside from that, it doesn't give the player much of a learning opportunity as they first come into the room, as the arena contains some elements the player can interact with, in addition to the boss. Gariri, 36 out of 50. Aside from the annoying boss at the end, this is a very enjoyable level. 
Some sections were slightly irritating, but the amount of checkpoints makes up for them. I really liked how the assets were used, it's really interesting, and it makes the stage fun to play. There's really nothing else for me to say. It's a really good level, boss could be better though. A Spark, 42 out of 50. Did... Did you just take one of the most reviled things in Mega Man history, only change its setup, and manage to make it fun? Color me impressed. Your conveyance of everything was excellent, everything was introduced well, and if any player was unfamiliar with any of these level objects, they won't be now. You also merge them creatively and are proof that, yes, even the dev kit gimmicks can be used in ways Capcom never thought of. Your checkpoint placement was on point. I did not mind the instant death introduced because I did not have much level to actually backtrack through, and in some cases no level at all. Good! There are issues though. I'm not sure what theme this level is going for, it's a bit nonsensical. The two areas of the stage don't make any sense being together. I have no idea what was up with that mini boss placement, but you probably would have been better off without it, or to have it at least modified it to be vaguely a threat. Your first two Noble Nickels were also devoid of challenge, which makes the third one a bit of a puzzler. Although I'm nitpicking here, I think in future work on your theming a bit better, so it isn't all random like this. Few new graphics, spruce up the gimmicks and music, and we'd have something pretty close to Capcom level endgame aside. This was a great stage though, good stuff. Alright, so with that, we've taken on the first two stages of Tier 9. If you guys enjoyed, feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And in the next episode, we are going to take on the next stage of this contest. I will see you guys then with a new custom costume. Goodbye.